Hey gamers and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review Marvel's Spider-Man 2, the sequel to the critically acclaimed Spider-Man game from 2018. Spider-Man 2 is one of the most anticipated games of 2023, and I'm going to tell you why. But before I do that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my future videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Now, let's get into the review. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is one of the most anticipated and acclaimed games of 2023. It is a sequel to the 2018 game Marvel's Spider-Man, which was developed by Insomniac Games, and is exclusive to the PlayStation 5. The game follows the adventures of Peter Parker and Miles Morales, two Spider-Men who must team up to stop a new threat from Kraven the Hunter and Venom. The game features stunning graphics, dynamic gameplay, play, and a rich story that explores the characters' relationships conflicts, and emotions. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is an action-adventure single-player video game played from a third-person perspective. As with the first game and Miles Morales, Peter Parker and Miles Morales are the two main characters, with Mary Jane and Venom playable in certain missions, becoming individually playable in accordance with the story as they traverse an open-world New York City, and fight enemies players can acquire new abilities, and collect various Spider-Man suits Peter and Miles can be freely swapped between at any point during free roam in the game's open world, and have dedicated missions both in the main story, and as part of side content that takes advantage of their individual traits the game expands upon the prior entry's open world, allowing players to explore Brooklyn and Queens, in addition to Manhattan, which was the main setting of the previous two games. Building on the combat system of the previous titles, both Spider-Men are able to parry physical attacks, as certain enemy types are impervious to dodging. During traversal, both Peter and Miles' new suits come equipped with web wings, which, when deployed, allow them to glide across the city, with their speed and distance covered increasing, when taking advantage of areas such as wind tunnels. Each Spider-Man's gadget wheel has been upgraded with additional equipable mods for their web shooters, such as being able to cast a web line across pillars for additional footing during stealth sequences suspended above enemies, and the web grabber, allowing multiple enemies to be pulled into an isolated spot for stealth takedowns, which can be performed on two enemies at once. In addition to Peter Parker's standard gamma play, he is playable when bonded to the Venom symbiote, granting him tendrils that he uses during combat, and unique web-based abilities both Spider-Men have individual skill trees, with additional unlockable abilities for both of them, once they accumulate enough skill points in accordance with their experience level, as well as a third skill tree dedicated to shared abilities between them. The game has received mostly positive reviews from critics, and players alike. Some of the common praises for the game are, the game delivers Insomniac's best tale yet, with a compelling narrative that balances humor, drama, and action. The game also explores the themes of family, friendship, mentorship, and identity through the perspectives of both Spider-Men. The game offers a vast and immersive open world that is bigger and more detailed than ever. The game also features realistic weather, physics, and lighting effects that enhance the visual quality and atmosphere of the game. The game provides a consistently exciting and fun gameplay experience that lets players switch between the two Spider-Men and use their unique abilities and gadgets. The game also features various modes, such as stealth, combat, traversal, puzzles, and challenges. The game has a diverse and memorable cast of characters, both heroes and villains. The game introduces new characters such as Kraven the Hunter and Venom, who pose different threats and challenges to the Spider-Men. The game also brings back familiar characters such as Mary Jane Watson, Aunt May, J. Jonah Jameson, and more. However, the game also has some flaws and drawbacks that some reviewers have pointed out. Some of the common criticisms for the game are, the game is very similar to the previous games in terms of combat mechanics, open-world activities, and mission design. The game does not offer much innovation or variety in these aspects, making it feel repetitive and predictable at times. The game has some technical issues and bugs that affect the performance and quality of the game. Some of these issues include frame rate drops, glitches, crashes, loading times, and graphical errors. The game has some pacing and balance problems that affect the flow and difficulty of the game. Some of these problems include uneven distribution of story missions and side quests, 
inconsistent enemy AIM level design, and lack of challenge or reward for certain actions, HTTPS. Overall, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is a great game that delivers a satisfying and enjoyable experience for fans of Spider-Man and superhero games in general. The game has some flaws that need to be fixed or improved, but they do not overshadow the strengths and achievements of the game. The game is a strong contender for the Game of the Year award in 2023. Well, that's it for my review of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Dot, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of Spider-Man 2, and if you are excited to play it in 2023. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my future videos. I have more awesome content coming your way soon. This is your host, signing off. Thanks for watching and see you next time. He got away from us. It's good, Pete. I saved the tracker. Let's go, man, before he gets too far. No. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Um, he's not normally like that, right? No. He's never like that.